Good morning. I'm up here in the nanny barn with all of the goats who delivered babies yesterday. They're up here for monitoring and then just making sure everyone's thriving. So far, everyone's looking good. Since all the mamas are thriving and recovering well from delivery and eating and nursing well, I'm going to tag and vaccinate all of the babies and moms and get them moved out to the big herd so they can graze on some of our rye that we have over on our cornfield from last year. So we're actually going to graze down some of that cover crop before we plant into the field this year. <laughs> It's a big boy. He's probably nearly 10 pounds. I'll record a little TikTok. Let's see, how do I even do this? actually worked pretty well. <laughs> All right, so I have a set of dough lanes here and I'm gonna show you one of the things that we check and cull from our herd for and that is fishtail teats. So let me get to this one. Well, you can barely tell her. <laughs> but she has two teats, but she technically actually has four because the two teats split. And so a lot of times the split will leave one of the teats non-functioning. And so later when she has babies, they might have trouble nursing. So we are going to pull this little girl. Keep this one. <laughs> Look at this one's ears. <laughs> one of them's sticking up. ask me why we have goats and not cattle. Can you process a calf as fast as I just process this baby goat? No. So I kind of mentioned that all of our mamas were doing fine and then as I was going down the line processing babies I saw this mom who's just acting a little lethargic. Um, she's not eating. You can see her hang grain is still here after this morning's feeding so she's not eating as fast as the other mom so I'm going to check her temperature. A cause of concern for being lethargic is possibly like a retained placenta, an infection, um, or just, you know, poor recovery after labor. So I got a thermometer here. Um, going to check her temperature. So she's sitting at 103.6, which is slightly elevated. A goat's normal body temperature is between 101 and 103 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm actually going to not process her, not give her vaccination or her babies a vaccination. And then probably in like four to six hours, take her temperature again. And if it changes or gets even more elevated, I will administer um, probably some antibiotics 
we don't typically have these sort of issues so this possibly could just be um, a very mild um, grade fever it's something we will definitely um, reach out to our vets to check in with them before we administer any medications another thing that might be concerned is I noticed while I was in there taking her temperatures one of her teats is enlarged so let's look at it so as you can see this teat on her right is much larger than the one on the left so I'm gonna get in there and see if maybe we have a little bit of mastitis going on or something wrong with that teat a lot of moms don't particularly enjoy being messed with um, especially right after labor So as you can see, that tea is not putting out any milk. So let's see if it's clogged. Ooh. No. My camera. <laughs> a little bit of a rodeo. So I might actually have to get someone to help me hold her so I can get a good look at this. Cause I think that might be our area of issue. So flipping a goat is a lot easier when they're a little smaller. She's a big one. Oh, she is definitely in pain and not feeling well because normally our goats is, are pretty docile. got her flipped over here let's see what's going on with this teat so it does produce milk that was a bit of a rodeo but got her checked out the other teat is functioning and then I put tape over this side to encourage the kids to nurse off of the other side Gotta put this tire back on the finisher.
I get asked a lot how I do things with fake nails, but they really don't hinder any of my work. Now that I have all of these hands started, I'm gonna tighten them with my impact, um, going every other. Now that I got that tire on, we can go down to the field and work that ground. Last week I blew a tire and then we got rain and this is actually the first time I'm getting down to this part of the field in over a week. As you can see, things have really greened up since the last time I'm down here. Got a lot of sun and a lot of rain. So let's hop in the tractor. Picking up sticks is not a very glamorous side of farming. It's not very cool, but it is a necessity. So I'm recording it to 